Is it better to have only one type of coaching client or multiple types of coaching clients? Today I'm going to show you three reasons why it's better to have only one type of coaching client. Let's get started. Hi, I'm John Cook. I'm the founder of Keynote Content. Over the last five years, I've worked with close to 1,200 business coaches and consultants where I want to help them clarify their message, elevate their impact, and change the world for good. I find that many coaches have an avatar. You might call it an archetype, an audience type, a type of coaching client, whatever you call it, you have this person that you like focusing on, this ideal person that you want to coach. You have their top questions, their top emotions, their top challenges, their top problems, their desires, their dreams. And you say, okay, that's, that's people that I like to focus on. But I also like to have this other type of coaching prospect that I like to focus on. And then this third type, and pretty soon, before you realize it, you have seven different type of coaching clients that you like. And I like working with all of them. And as the saying goes, if you have seven areas of focus, you have no focus. If you focus your coaching business from multiple types of coaching clients to one specific type of coaching clients, you will automatically grow faster with your business. Because the first thing that it does, it gives you an elevated expertise. Now, I love playing guitar. I've played rhythm, I've played lead, blues, jazz, folk, you name it, I have played that type of music genre with a guitar. But I've also played bass guitar and drums, and percussion, and piano, and keyboard, and accordion, and down the line, I've played a bunch of different instruments. But I'm definitely not the best guitarist in my family. My sister Jayla, she's an amazing guitarist. She's a much better guitarist than I am. She started playing in middle school, played all through high school, and then she went to college and studied musical performance with an emphasis in classical guitar. And I was mesmerized by how proficient she was as she moved up and down the fretboard and the way she did all the nuances of the songs and the tones and the styles and the way that she's using one instrument to create just an amazing experience for her entire audience. And for you as a coach, what you will realize is that when you focus on that one specific instrument, as it were, that one specific audience type, you will find out that you will have this true proficiency that elevates you above other coaches in that same, maybe that same industry type and saying you are showing up as somebody who addresses specific questions and specific exact challenges because you are only focused on that audience. It means that when more advanced questions and more advanced challenges show up, people see you as the first go-to expert because you are specifically focused on that exact area. The second reason it's best to have only one type of coaching clients is it allows you to create specific solutions for those types of clients. Now, when I first met my wife, Oh my word, I spent every single moment I could think of focusing on what does she want, what are her challenges, what are her questions, what really gets her um, excited and joyful, what are the things that, that she loves focusing on, what does she want this next month and the next year and 10, 20, 50 years from now to look like. And I poured every moment into really building that relationship in a specific focused way. And the same can be true for you with having only one type of coaching clients and building that specific relationship because it means that you can focus on what are the exact challenges and questions and, and dreams that they have that you can say, okay, and here is a specific response instead of having a generic coaching program that targets a generic outcome, saying here's a specific coaching program that sprints for 30 days on the specific challenge or question that you're facing and then being able to say, instead of me saying 90 days, I think we're heading towards this kind of maybe a general area saying, I know we're gonna land and hit this exact experience because it's focused because you took the time to get to know me and not distracted on a couple different places with your coaching business. Specific focus, specific solution, specific outcome and experience. And probably the biggest benefit of having only one type of coaching client is that it strengthens your message. You will have a stronger message because you're focused on only one type of coaching clients. I call this addition by subtraction. Instead of saying that you're a wellness trainer that focuses on uh, corporate executives and then new moms and then uh, mountain biking enthusiasts and then near retirees, what you're doing is every time you add in this characteristic or detail and saying that that's your audience, it will continue to dilute the actual focus and actually weaken your message because you're trying to go in a bunch of different directions. So if you say you want to remove everything from the way that you talk about your coaching business, remove everything that doesn't have to do with that exact type of coaching client, you will automatically have a stronger message because it takes and removes all the noise. It's fewer distractions, it's more focus. It's less generalities and more specificities because you will have better conversations because you're more focused and saying, here is how I'm talking about this specific audience. They know who they are. They know that I know who they are. And these other people that I could possibly help as a coach, they're not even attracted into my message because what I'm talking about isn't specifically related to them. By focusing in your message, stronger message, stronger connection, stronger momentum as a coach. 
Well, hopefully you love what I shared so far today. Go ahead and subscribe. You can catch more of my videos talking about how to grow your coaching business with a stronger message. And you might say, I've got these three types of coaching clients. I know I have these three types of audiences. Which ones do I choose? Which one's best for me? Well, I put together another video walking you through the 6P process, helping you pick the perfect, the perfect type of coaching clients for your business. Go ahead and hit play on the next video. We'll see you there.